Hey guys, right, I'm gonna have to put my aircon on a second, just bear with me. I am hot, hot, hot. Um, just, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Right. Right, good morning. Hope you're all okay. I can turn that off now. Um, hope you're all okay. And um, all the littles are like back in school. Um, I've just deposited Finley um, into school. Day two, going well. He was super excited to go in this morning. So I can confirm Ella and Harry have gone back to school as well. But um, I've not managed to grab a picture of them yet. I am going to take one of them later or tomorrow just so I've got it for me because they're like, please stop us. Anyway, I was like, okay. I am. Um, but yeah, I've just dropped little man off. It's so amazing to see him happily skipping in. Honestly, like I can't even tell you like how. Oh, it's just lovely. And he, I don't think he quite grasps where he's going. He just was like, I was. Just, I think he thinks he's just like going to a play centre for a, a couple of days. But um, yeah, no, it's all good. So good morning, Teresa. But I didn't come on to talk to you about school. I came on to talk to you about um, being intentional and data and how you need to use that to move forward and progress in your business and like why it's so important to set goals and why it's so important to know what you are aiming for and what your next goal is um and i'm gonna this has been drawn from i went to a class this morning at the gym um at six o'clock it's a little bit earlier than i normally go because obviously i didn't know how it was going to work with like school runs and stuff morning natalie and um i literally thought i was gonna hurl like i'm not gonna lie it was oh god but but when I finished, it made me analyse, like, why I felt like that, what I'd done differently, um, and if I'm going to that class, I'm actually going to go to the 7 o'clock one tomorrow, because it will be okay, but if I'm going to that class, what I need to do differently, it's all data, like, everything in your life is data, so, for example, that class is set up um, on a time cap, so the the... The CrossFit class is set out and the moves are set out and you do so many reps or go for so many calories on the bike or whatever it is and then you move on to the next thing. Again, it's data. So you've got a goal. You know what you're aiming for. So when you're in that moment where you're just literally trying to like bust a gut to get there, you know what you're aiming for. It's set in a time cap. So you've got your goal to aim for. I must just say, I literally made that workout within 10 seconds of the time cap. So it was flipping hard going this morning, but I did it. But it's exactly the same when I was driving home. It made me think, like, it's exactly the same in your business. And if you don't... And the reason I say, like, you've got to set yourself goals. You've got to, at the beginning of the month, say to yourself, right, what am I aiming for this month? Whether that's PRV, whether that's sponsoring, whether that's, you know, whether that's parties, that's something I'm going to talk about in a minute. Whatever it is, you need to set yourself a goal of, of what you want to achieve and then what you do is you work back and you work out how you're going to get there and then then you have to take the action to do it but there's the psychology of setting goals and we don't just say it to say like oh set yourself some goals there is psychology behind why it's so important to do it because if you don't know what you're aiming for you, you can't work out how you're going to get there and it's exactly the same with anything in life. So for promotions, for example, so um, the lovely Katie, we were chatting this morning and I uh, lead promotion is her next goal. So I sent her how to get there and now she can work out, sit down and work out. And that's why I shared about the promotions because so many people will come in and they're just la 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 work in the business, which is fine. But it depends what you want. It depends if you want to progress. It depends if you want to promote. It depends if you want to grow a team. It depends if you want to move forward in the, com you know, across the comp up the compensation plan. It depends what you want out of your business. If you want to move forward, you need to set goals so you know how you're going to get there. It's exactly the same, like I said, of you know, with PRV. If a thousand PRV is your goal, break it down into a weekly goal and then break it down into a daily goal and work out how much PRV you need to get every day to get there. It's exactly the same with your promotion. So if you are an essential consultant work out how and also big tip and this is something that i've i always did right up because i haven't i haven't got any more promotions to go now but 
so I obviously have to set myself different goals is what I mean. It doesn't mean I don't set goals just because I haven't got any promotions ahead of me. Um, well, actually I have Circle of Excellence is my next goal, which is six frontline superstar directors. So that's my next goal. But um, you need to, don't, what I'm saying is if you want to get to director, for example, but you are a lead consultant, obviously you have director in your sights over there, but Focus on your next goal ahead. Don't be looking at the numbers to get to director if you're a lead consultant because you'll just be like, wow, wow, that is bonkers. Because I remember um, when I first started, like, well, I actually didn't ever think about it. I just very much was in the moment. But if you are a lead consultant and looking at what you need for a lead consultant and that is where you are in your business and then you look that you need 10,000 GWV to get to director, that's going to blow your mind and you're going to be like, oh, my God. So only ever focus on the next goal ahead of you. So if you're an essential consultant, look at what you need to get to the certified. If you're a certified consultant, look at what you need to get to get to lead. If you're a lead consultant, look at what you need to get to star. If you're a star consultant, look at what you need to get to superstar. And if you're super, etc., etc., etc. Only ever focus on the goal that's ahead of you. It's good to know that the other ones are, are out there, but you need to set. You need to literally be laser focused on where you're going. So if you do want to go to a, for a promotion this month, this is the month to do it. We are literally in boom season. This is. I cannot. I cannot tell you the possibility. And every single day when you get up in your business now, you have so much possibility around you, physically around you, online with the conversations that you have. We are on the run up to Christmas. People are wanting to earn extra income. People are starting to Christmas shop. We have a product that is giftable. Honestly, you have so much opportunity in front of you, but it's not just going to fall in your lap. And I'm just going to talk about parties really quick and then I am going to go. If you want to party in this season, putting a post on your Facebook or putting a post on your Instagram isn't just going to cut it. If you want to party, which I'm not saying don't do those things, do those things additionally. But if you want to have parties or you want to have coffee mornings or you want to have sip and sniff sessions or you want to have girls nights where you're taking your sensory around, you need to be asking people, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. You need to be asking people. And I don't just mean asking two people and say nobody wants to party. You, mean, you might need to ask 50 people before somebody says yes. I'm just being honest with you. Maybe not 50, maybe 30. But you need to be asking every customer, every, would you like to earn some free sensi? Would you like to earn some free sensi? Would you like to earn some free sensi? Have you ever thought about, you know, you need, you have to get comfortable with hearing the word no. It's just a word because not everyone is going to say yes, but they might say yes eventually. And this was actually something that was on that Jessie Lee Ward podcast the other day, which obviously I know was about her cancer diagnosis, but she actually said something in there that said like, I've never understood Never, and this is why she's a multimillionaires. I've never understood in business why people are scared of the word no. It is just a word. We get we get told you literally from the minute you are born, and when you are a child, like you're told no. Sometimes it's just a word. So stop being so scared of it. If you want to move forward in your business, you have to understand that people are going to say no to you. Not everyone's going to stop join the. Uh, you know, become a teamie. Not everybody is going to buy from you straight away, but you have to just understand that it is part of the business. But if you want to get the yeses, you have to hear the noes. If you're not hearing no, you're not working. If you're not hearing no, you are not working your business. And if you want things to happen in this season, all the opportunities out there for you, you have to set some goals and you have to then work it back to how you're going to get there. Hey, Gemma. No, sir, I've only told me something you're staring at. I'm at. Yes, love it. But, you, but that's what I mean. You know what you're aiming for. And it's about helping everybody win. So if you're going for... Um, a star consultant promotion, then it's about helping your team is to get to certified, to get to lead. It's about, you literally cannot have success in this business without helping other people to have success. There is, there is no better business model, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to go. I feel like I'm on a bit of a, la, la, la. if that was a bit ranty, I do apologise. But I also don't apologise because that's what, that is the mindset that you need. And that is the mindset that this morning when I literally thought my legs were going to fall off when I was on that bike... I literally was like, head down, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. And I, fe I literally thought I was going to be sick at the end, but I got it in, in the time cap. And 
that time cap, for example, can be like your promotion. And also, had I not got it in, it, that's okay too. If you are aiming for a promotion and you know that you've done absolutely everything you can, that's okay too. Because you would still have had growth in your business. And you would still, whether you realise it or not, moved forward and moved closer to it every single month. And you want promotions to happen organically. Do not ever, ever buy product to get yourself a promotion because it's just a title on the workstation if you're on if you're not then organically growing and being paid at that title there's no point there's absolutely no point that is my biggest tip to you i'm not saying if you're five p av away and you want to buy a couple of scent circles that's different but do not be spending money to get a promotion ever i would never ever ever tell anyone to do that because it is absolutely pointless you want it to happen organically right I am going to go. I feel like I'm on my soapbox a little bit this morning, but it's because I'm fired up and I know where I want my business to go this season. And I want all of your businesses to go wherever you want them to go. Because, But unless you actually think about that and set yourself some goals, you're never going to get there. Right. Loads of love. Have an amazing day. And I'll speak to you.